um, had as our top tiers in the previous uh, patches. Uh, but here we go. Mook Once again. versus MJG. My man, MJG. Looking like he's going with the villager. MJG is an old school brawl player, if you guys will reminisce with me for a fantastic game such as Brawl. MJG is an old brawl player, repping Toon Link back in the day, but today he's going to go with villager versus uh, who we just saw, Mook. And we're going to jump right into game one on Startersville. So MJG, uh, actually more known for his doubles play in this mm -hmm, game. Mm -hmm. uh, like one of the best doubles players in this entire game. Oh, yes, game. definitely. He is just so solid at Real like, patient. Yeah. Doesn't give a lot of uh, unnecessary risks. Doesn't leave himself open too much. Willing to go to time if it's necessary. But he does love making hits, making big plays. Good tech. It's fantastic. I knew he had to be expecting that because Pikachu's back air. You see that off stage all the time. Wow. wow. I love how he knew that was going to come out. He yeah. barely missed space. He'd be like, you know, I'm going to hold this here. You're going to do something. Yeah. And this that. Expecting quick attack probably. Yeah. And but pro yeah. Oh, my God. Honestly, wow, that's scary. With quick attacks, the Senate hurt box, mm -hmm. and that big old bowling ball, probably that Probably would have hit. And we see Mook struggling right here in the mid range. Not too much in the long range. But in the mid range, what? I was oh, like, <laughs> he is playing with fire. I think he tried to power shield that. I think mm -hmm. that's the whole reason he ran up. There's like power shield, I'm gonna get a grab, but he's barely mistimed it. Mm -hmm. yeah, MJG's really excelling at controlling the space right now. As you can see, he's, he's keeping it mid range. He goes long range, you know, to set up the gyros and maybe a couple of forward airs and nares. But right here in the mid range, about roll distance and a little bit farther, you see him. Woo! I love the traps. I just want to talk about that sequence. He had okay, so he set out the gyro, he made Mook jump, and then he threw out the forward air, and he and he sent Mook all oh the way over gosh. to where he had planted this sapling that he was ready to water and trap retreating with the tree. water. That was great. And it's it's just it's just like that you could we tell from the beginning. He's reading Mook. Mm -hmm. He's playing to where he's setting these traps, and that's what you want to see a villager do: yeah. set traps. Execute perfectly and get so much damage so quickly. Yeah. Uh, Mook already on his second stock. Uh, MJG miles away from losing his first. Absolute phenomenal villager play right now from MJG. What Mook is going to have to do right now is find a way to deal with the forward air. Because the forward air, it doesn't look like the Lloyd, the rocket is, is, is doing all the work. It's looking more like right here in this mid range. The fair is his problem right now. Yeah. And because the fair is the problem, you're seeing him get hit by the mix ups. More fares. You see him with MJG's out here pressing with the tree, too. Oh! Mook almost with a conversion. Yeah. You know what I think was even more beneficial to MJG than getting that kill? How many times have you seen Mook use a quick attack to approach? Exactly. He's, he put that fear in him with the boulder, knowing mm -hmm. that he could get hit. He has a quick attack to approach, and that's what And Pikachu's, now he's not doing. Yeah, and now he's not able to get in. And that's yeah. what Pikachu's are known for doing, using that quick attack to get in. Yeah. And this Ooh, okay. Finally, finally getting that stock, though, through the tree. But he, Mook's, I mean, MJG still has this, like, this mental grip on top of Mook. Oh, yeah. Not allowing him to approach comfortably. Yeah. Oh, my that goodness. That was so smart. That okay. was such a smart quick attack yes. from Mook. Good, good recovery from Mook. MJG, I think, could have capitalized on that. I don't think he was ready for that. But okay. still, MJG with a commanding lead. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, okay. not, he's not letting him get back to that stage. He okay, doesn't see, now want this it. is good for Mook. Mook is pushing, pushing, pushing. I, I just love how he, he kept him on one side, and he carried him over to the other side. MJG finally getting some breathing room. That quick attack cancel, letting him get in. Oh, gosh, I thought something was going to happen. Yeah. He, oh, there it is. There it is. I was just about to say I thought up smash. Up smash definitely sealed that. That is the second time that MJG has forced Mook to jump up into the air over mm -hmm. his gyro, and then in, uh, Mook would get punished. Mm -hmm. So Mook's going to want to be a, little bit, a bit more careful about how he treats that gyro and instead of jumping, possibly running away, power shielding, something to not allow MJG to put him into these situations where mm -hmm. there's only two options, mm -hmm. and then he can capitalize off of that and mm -hmm. punish him. This is really reminiscent of Snake in Brawl. Uh, specifically Razor, where he just locks you down with all these traps and then gives you one of two options and you have to pick one. Yeah. Or, or it gives you two options, you have to pick one. And he makes it so that you most likely will pick the option he's waiting for. Yeah. 
And oh. this is really, oh, okay, I heard Fox. Character switch from Mook. He does have a pocket Fox. Yes. And this is really dangerous. He can do fantastic in the neutral, but once he gets off stage, Villager excels in this matchup. And I mean free money. All right, so what can what can Fox do? Uh, Fox can get in, he can get his damage. Yeah. And then he can play the uh, he can play the lasers. Yeah. So right now Mook is playing really patient. He can also he can attempt to do the reflector things, but then you run the risk of uh, Villager doing pocket things. Mm -hmm. So the Lloyd, the playing around the Lloyd, it really comes into uh, consideration for both these players. What did the other player do? What should I do now? Yeah. A little bit of reflector there from Mook. And I mean that was a big problem for Mook in game one. How mm -hmm. to deal with that gyro? How to deal with this this these right. projectiles? Exactly. And uh, that reflector is gonna be very useful for him if he utilizes it properly. I'm uh, already seeing a bit of a better game. He's got uh, that percent, like you were saying, he's sitting back using the layers, uh -huh. lasers, yep. and then being a bit more patient, more reactive. Yeah. Uh, and it's working out for him so far. Yeah. See, what Fox can do is is exactly what Mook is doing right now, pushing the advantage when he has it, and then, you know, overcommitting sometimes just to continue to push pressure, but other times staying back, letting MJG, M M MJG, <laughs> oh, offstage, okay, yeah, letting MJG, make the mistakes instead of Mook this time around. Yes. Oh, okay. Got the Mook list. loves doing those trumps. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Man, he's he's a so gung-ho oh sometimes. Oh, my gosh. And he makes my, my heart, heart skip a couple my beats. Heart. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> I was like, come on, you're doing so well. Don't run into that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Mook still playing around with a little bit of fire. He can get gimped super easily if he overcommits to something at the wrong moment. We should be seeing a little bit of back air. There we go. From Mook. Getting that Lloyd out of here. Doing such a good job of keeping MJG off the stage in the air. Mm -hmm. Not allowing him to get that comfort zone that we saw him in. Exactly. In that game, in game one. one. Exactly. Yep. See, MJG was expecting the reflection. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. Okay, MJG has a possible ledge. Okay, corner not able to get it. Good corner pressure. Mook passes him to the other side instead of offstage. Yeah, I was, uh, that was questionable, honestly. I, I don't think he's sure they, how he to get the kill. might be looking for damage. I don't know the damage differential. He has, like, no kill throws. I know he doesn't have kill throws, but which does back throw or forward throw do more damage might have been what he was thinking. Okay, I see what you're saying. Because the higher his percentage, the, the less Mook has to look for an actual up smash, you know? Because if he whiffs up smash, that's free for Villager. Yeah, yeah so uh, it's kind of going like, playing off of that. He's trying to find that safe kill option where he won't get punished if he flubs it, mm -hmm. and he's just unable to do that. MJG mm -hmm. doing a really good job of, you know, kind of still instilling that fear into Mook. Like, right. if you do an up smash, I will kill you. Yeah. If you do one any smash attack, I will kill you. Yeah. And Mook's kind of playing with that in his mind, not taking that those risks that we were seeing uh, yeah. in the early percents. But the other side of this coin is that Mook not having to commit to a a, uh, a risky smash attack. Oh my gosh! Means I that thought he that has to hit. find a raw way to kill, which may indeed actually have to be a smash attack at these later percents. Honestly, 176 forward throw does it, but he is at 117. Oh, and he taunted. The come oh, on. Oh, my goodness. Mook feeling himself. And this is where he can do a lot of damage as far as this match progression goes. He can get damage now, still being safe. But the more he does, the less he has to worry about if he gets killed. All right. And that'll be especially hard for MJG to come back from. That means MJG is going to have to push his advantages. He's going to have to apply pressure. Mook can sit back and do what he wants to do, but the mistakes are going to have to be made by MJG. And right now, Mook is pushing all the advantage he can possibly find. Yeah, he, we, had, we saw it in that first stock. He had no problem racking up the percent. His issues were with finding that kill, that whiff grab, almost the end of uh, Mook's stock. And we are at the two-minute mark. We may or may not see time, depending on if MJG can get this stock off. Never mind, oh my Mook. Goodness. Raw up smash takes it. Oh my goodness. Okay, commanding win. And this is what this is exactly what happened in the last set we saw Mook play with uh with Surge, Surge the Mega Man. Is he lost game one and then game two, Mook was in there. In there. Like gah! Yeah. He's where he struggled that first stock, mm -hmm. he 
he was able to, I guess, since he was in that comfort zone of having two stocks, yeah. he was able to analyze uh, MJG's approach options, yeah. his let's get ups, and that's what got him that stock. That really let's get up read. Sense. Yeah, he was just uh, he was just able to look at things from like you know how you play friendlies and you can just do whatever. Yeah, you just have a good time. Kind of yeah. look at it from that friendly uh, aspect, not having that as much stress when you're put into those high percent stressful yeah, situations. Yeah, very good for Mook actually. Yeah, fantastic play. MJG, not count him out, but he's going to have to find something else to do at the beginning of the game so that he ensures the first stop. Yeah. Villager's not really that character that can aggressively pressure you, even though Villager can tack on damage. Yeah. It's not like Villager has something that you just always have to worry about in the close range. Exactly. It's mostly mid-range, and it's mostly because the other player's making the mistakes for you. Yes. I hear clicks for an Omega. Omega, Omega, we fit. Omega, we fit. Please, Omega, we gosh, fit. No. Yo, I need to hear Super Hoop. No. That is my favorite stage. <laughs> yeah, that's my training you stage. You and Gibbous. That's my training stage. I go to Omega Super Hoop and I uh, I listen. I'm not Omega Super Hoop. Omega I go to Omega Super, We yeah. Fit and I listen to Super Hoop and I just have a good time and stretch those legs. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be going to. Let's get Let's get a good stretch. It's just a good stretch. All right. But also, honestly, Battlefield, if I were to pick a stage, like competitive thinking in mind, it would 100% be Battlefield. It's just so grounded, and mm -hmm. those platforms are so helpful. Yep. And we're going to kind of see MJG utilize those those platforms to keep Mook into these bad situations, possibly see him camp up there and use uh, that forward smash. Yeah. It's probably going to come to play on these platforms. So Mook right can there, be we careful. Saw, I think maybe, I don't know if that was an input error, but we saw uh, MJG go for that early up tilt. That early uh, Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Wingardium Levi. Oh my god! Oh, he broke his shield! Oh, oh my, okay, what's. Okay. What oh my goodness! Man, oh he got the kill? No way! No way! Someone else shot that! Oh my gosh, okay. This man. <laughs> Yo! This man! Yo! This man! Oh my, my life. gosh! My life! Oh my goodness! So, so game one, we were talking about how he was struggling to take that first stock. Yo! And what a way to come into game two and I take that first stock. You. What a way to take that first stock. Oh my, okay, all MJG right. MJG ain't out though. We are MJG is fighting. not out though. We are fighting hard, fists are out. <laughs> this is Fight Club and, and we don't talk about it, but I'm gonna talk about it. No, we don't use, we don't use fists, we use bowling oh balls and we use goodness. trees. Yeah, oh my gosh, and titanium legs. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Gosh, this, this, this okay. This string from Mook though, These 0%. two are going super hard. There is no more patience in this game. There's no chill. Mook is looking for this win right now, just now taking his first percent. And now we're seeing him roll into Lloyd's. We see MJG starting to slow it down just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, if we, oh my if, if we see Mook get put into that offstage situation, like how he lost that first knock to that bowling ball, that bowling yeah. ball having so much knockback, if he's put back into that situation, MJG can still net this stock super early, seeing how light yep. Fox is. And Mook has to be careful not to put himself in the corner too much exactly. and get set off stage because it's going to be an easy gimp. Yeah, and this is an up smash from uh, from Mook as well. Yep. MJG needs to be very careful about how he places himself in oh. the air. Oh, such a good stage. job placing that dish Twice. Oh, oh, my. I thought he was going to get hit. Oh, my you gosh. Oh, Mook, Mook, you are playing with fire. <laughs> and he's still going for trumps. I think he should be going for the uh, for the buffered reaction to the Trump yeah. from now on. Yeah, we're kind of seeing that game one situation. Mook struggling to take the stock. MJG just fine racking up that percent and getting himself to these kill percents where yeah, his MJG, options start killing. Exactly. MJG has managed to tack on 66% while only taking about 20. Oh, my gosh. He went so hard for that Raw. one. I think he was thinking, because MJG's been jumping a lot out of shield to yeah. get these Lloyds up. So he's he trying wanted, to like, get in he there. He tried to fish that out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Mook, gosh. don't play with my heart like this. I love both these competitors. But right now, this is Mook's game to lose. He's, honestly, he's at, like, MJG can kill with an up smash or a forward smash right now. This is such a dangerous position uh -huh. for Mook to be put into. He needs to find a way to get the oh stock. Oh, my goodness. Tried to punish the whiff grab. But MJG, once again, placing those traps, knowing the Lloyd would cover his back if he whiffed that grab. Back air's coming out from MGG right now, too, since they do have the higher knockback. One of them could just smack Mook out of this game. I don't like Mook off stage right now, and he keeps going for these traps. Man, MJG has literally counted all the way from 0 to 100 in this last stock. Oh, my goodness. Even percents. Two minutes. 
two minute mark remaining. Mook just unable to find the kill. Oh, Ooh, tried to, if he held that a bit longer, just that would have connected. Just a bit longer. This is, is Edge Guard. This is an Edge Guard. And that's going to be the stop. There we MJG go. MJG okay. brought that all Very the way back. Good. Very good from MJG. All the way back but in a let's replay. Look at that young replay. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. The melee puff punish. <laughs> right? That Shoot him with lasers. That literally was the melee smash. puff punish. Oh man, I wanted that so bad for Mook. But again, fantastic play from MJG. Yeah. Literally from 0 to 100, only taking about 30%. Yeah, honestly, that it, it, same as in that game 2, uh, in the game 1, 2, and 3, almost to that entire set, Mook just had a, a, a hard time stealing stocks. Mm -hmm. And he got that early kill with that awesome reflected tree into the up smash. Yep. But he just. But then he got caught yeah. with the the, the the standard get up into the forward smash. And then it just it just from there MJG, he took a lot of damage. He said, "Okay, once, I'm in this." Yeah. Once no. Once MJG hit a hundred percent, he literally took Mook all the way from zero to one hundred, and mm -hmm. then took his stock. Mm -hmm. And that just shows the struggle that Mook had with getting that kill. But it also shows.